Okay, YouTube. Um, this is a follow-up video, and actually my third attempt at shooting this. I've been running into some issues. Um, as far as a review on the Everlast Power Plasma 50 and the California Air Tools um, 4620A Ultra Quiet Air Compressor. Um, it's a oilless air compressor. It's very, very quiet. It performs very, very well. It's only six point or 4.6 gallons, but it delivers 5.3 CFM at 90 PSI and 7 CFM at 40 PSI. Um, it's two horsepower, and believe it or not, it's able to run my plasma cutter for some pretty significant length cuts. Um, I've already done this video again. Like I said, this is my fourth attempt at shooting it. Combination of issues from battery dying and on my phone to, to whatever. Um, I'm going to attempt to do a four foot cut. Um, it's four passes across here. It's actually a little bit longer than four feet. This is 3 16th plate steel. Um, going to do a quick setup with the, the power plasma. I need to be running about 70 psi through the power plasma unit. Um, I could actually do that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly turn on this air compressor. Um, it's completely empty. You can see it's got a ball valve drain on it. Closing the drain. Tank pressure zero. I'm going to turn this bad boy on. I'm not going to increase the volume which I'm speaking so that you can kind of hear realistically how, how loud this is. So, anyways, you know, I'm standing three feet, four feet away from it, maybe. This thing's really quiet, you know. Um, I, I'm thoroughly impressed with it. It's, it's a bit of an expensive compressor, not really expensive, but I was able to pick it up off Amazon for $370 and some change, and that includes shipping. Um, I noticed that the, the distributor increased the price last night to 407 I believe it was. But if you look on, on eBay, the actual manufacturer sell the, sells this particular compressor. It's an aluminum tank setup. Again, 4620A off their eBay, you know, eBay store for the $370, you know, $370, excuse me, I'm getting all tongue-tied. So anyways, it's about ready to shut off. That's how long it takes to fill this thing. That's really fast. I'm impressed with that. Um, I was just talking to the manufacturer of my, of my Everlast Power Plasma, and they said that I should try to avoid too much pressure going into the plasma cutter. Somewhere around 90 PSI should be good into it. Um, they told me here, let me turn this on, is that I should be somewhere around 70 PSI operating pressure. They said switch this down to constant flow. Grab my gun, tap the trigger, This is not really giving a constant flow, but it should be. See how it's a little bit below? When I hit the trigger, it should be higher than that. That's fine. Anyways, let me let that catch up real quick. Um, and we're going to record this thing cutting that pass. <clears throat> Hopefully we don't have any issues this time around. I'm running this thing at 30 amps. Probably could go a little bit below that. But it seems to work fine. Um, get these. These are plasma goggles. Safety glasses, whatever. 
there is shade 5. This is what you should be running if you're plasma cutting. Don't use an auto darkening helmet unless it can go down to that because that's the lowest that I've seen on my helmet is a shade 9 which is too dark. Um, don't use sunglasses unless you want to hurt your eyes. So, let me get my gloves on. It's kind of cold in here so don't expect straight cuts. Here we go. Finding interesting is there's not much dross on this side of the cut. There's a lot of dross on the other side. That probably has a lot to do with me not knowing what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> like I said, this is, I don't know if I said it in this video, but anyways, this is the second day that I've even attempted to ever use a plasma cutter. So the missing dross from those cuts is on this side. Um, probably has to do a lot with torch angle. Um, so it's just something I've got to get used to and, and practice with and, and, and mess with for a little bit and until I get better at it. Cuts. Let me grab the thing if it's real quick. I'll show you guys. I don't want to burn myself. It's still a little warm. The cuts, the beginning cut, is just as clean is the end cut on a four foot pass okay so the compressor is working a little bit but it is able to hold up and here's me putting my money where my mouth is I'm able to touch this this has actually been running a little bit more than normal I didn't I had ran it like I said this is the fourth attempt at shooting this video 
It, it, it is warm. If I leave my hand on there long enough, it's, it's going to eventually be too much heat for me to mess with. Um, but I am able to touch this. It is warm. The tank is starting to warm up. Before it was really cold. It's very cold in my shop. Um, so I'm assuming that after some time I'm going to eventually build up some condensation in the lines and these filters over here will eventually start collecting moisture. As of right now they're not collecting anything. Um, so that's basically it and I'm, I'm really impressed with both the plasma cutter and the, the compressor. I'm not going to ever really, unless I'm building a bumper, a plate bumper, where I'm needing to make some very large plates for like the top plate or, or whatever, I don't foresee myself doing any four foot long cuts, you know, or, or not any, but many, you know, maybe every now and then at best. More than likely what I'm going to end up doing is cutting some smaller, you know, four, five, six inch lengths. And this setup right here is more than adequate, okay? I don't care what anybody's telling you, here's proof. I did it right now. It's working. It's working well. This compressor's kicking ass. It's quiet. You know, my plasma cutter fan and the plasma cutter in general is almost as loud as, as the compressor. I'm talking to you in the same tone of voice that I was talking the whole time. It works great. Um, I'm very, 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 very happy with the both of them. So that's it. Subscribe, comment, like. Go check out the description of the video. I'm going to have a link to both of these. I'm going to link the, the eBay page for this because it's cheaper than where I bought it now. I don't know why the Amazon seller increased the price so much. Um, but so I'm going to give you the link to California Air Tools actual eBay page. They actually came out with a new compressor which I think is awesome. It's got two of these motors or the exact same motors and it's got a 17 gallon tank and it's CFM rating it is phenomenal um, for such a small small output deal and I guess it's still under 90 decibels. Um, I'm not, I have to look at their website to, to find that out but that's something if you're looking for absolutely more capacity that's a compressor that you should look at. I'm looking at it. It's a little bit on the spendy side, but for as quiet as, quiet as these are, you know, that, that's hard to pass up. I don't know about you, but I don't like a lot of noise when I'm working. It's bad enough I got angle grinders and stuff like that that make a ton of noise. I don't want to listen to that crap, too. Um, so anyways, check out the description. There's going to be links to both of those. Um, there's also going to be a link to my Facebook page. You know, go down there, like the page, show some support, comments, whatever. You know, I, I keep it active. I post what's going on. Um, got new tools on the way. Tomorrow I should have a JD, um, JD Squared Model 32 Tubing Bender showing up. Unfortunately, my die set is not going to be showing up the same day, but the bender will. So I'll be working with that. Um, here's something that I'm actually working on right now as well. These are table bases um, for some commercial tables. So I've got a, the guy that's actually building the tables. They're wood tables, but he because they're commercial, he needed something stout for a base. And this is something that I'm working on right now and hope to have it wrapped up tomorrow. Um, I ran out of flapper discs, and I'm going to be doing a review on some Rourke um, supply cutoff wheels. I'm going to be filming that here shortly, um, comparing them to Harbor Freight cutoff wheels because that's their competitor, to be honest. Um, Harbor Freight sells their cutoff wheels for roughly 50 cents when you get when you get them on sale, and Rourke is about as a dollar, but they're made in the United States, so we're gonna we're gonna do a battle between cutoff wheels here on my next video. So, anyways, com subscribe, comment, like. Hope you guys are finding these videos informative and helping you out. Talk to you later. Bye.